Berjan Zhakipov of Kazakhstan, the 29-year-old former bronze medalist in 2005 at the World Champs, takes on Mohamed Fisi of Algeria. I'm Colin Bryce, alongside me, Will Vanders. Will, is, uh, is going to be a huge ask for the young Algerian. What a great clash here in the finals for the men's light flyweight. Zhakipov from Kazakhstan beat a Cuban fighter to get here at the semis. He beat Soto of Cuba very convincingly, but a great performance from the Algerian, Mohamed Flisi, who beat David Rodriguez from the... from Costa Rica, who snatched the chance of the Costa Rican taking a first gold for that country. But he's a very, very slick operator, Flisi. A lot of range, very fast, a lot of power, but he's up against Kazakh fighter Zhakyapov, who ticks all of the boxes as well. Very relaxed style, both fighters, although it has to be said, Fleecy, slightly more orthodox, slightly tighter guard, but uh, look at the confidence of the Kazakh. Low hands. Trying to invite Fleecy in, trying to bring him on to capitalise on some counter punching. Well, you can hear the crowd here getting behind Zakiapov. Berjan rings out around the arena here. Several thousand local Kazakhs have poured in to see so many great Kazakh fighters. All taking part all the way through the final, and uh, Fleecy gets tagged but goes back again. He does throw a lot of hooks, Fleecy. It's good steady work from the Algerian. He settled nicely into his flow, and the Southpaw Kazakh, well, trying a little bit of flash here, but putting on a great show and getting tagged left, right. Good combination there, and good solid connections. And Fleecy now really starting to make inroads. This, of course, uh, is the 10-point must system that we're working to here. And, of course, no headgear. So it's all down to five judges, three of which are randomly selected for their scores. At the end of each round, we will get a chance to see exactly where our boxers are at. Aggression, technique, quality of shots, these are all vital components in the new system in amateur boxing. Small cut to uh, the cheekbone of Fleecy, sent over to see the doctor. Uh, Zhakyapov is sent to the neutral corner. Well, it would be a very, very big shame for this final to end with an injury, considering the performance that Fleecy's putting in. But the doctor's okayed him and he's back. Well, the clock's against both fighters at this stage. I think something is quite important to point out. Fleecy, he's gone through 15 rounds of boxing already. He's into his 16th, now 17th round of boxing. As we look back here, Zhakipov had a bye in the first round. And, uh, well, that cut, it's uh, already happened there. Well, it was a very, very solid round for both fighters. Zhakipov, obviously, bringing his right hand into play and causing that injury. I don't know how the judges will score it, but it will be close. Well, it's 10-9 to Zhakyapov across the board in the end from Judge A, B and C. They're uh, all anonymous at the moment. We find out at the end which of uh, the five are selected. It's all completely open. The most uh, open system of scoring in the world of boxing. Oh, the Kazakh fans have got so much to look forward to. Six bouts, including uh, the super heavyweight Ivan Ditchko later on. Now we're underway. Round number two, Berjan Zhakyapov of Kazakhstan in red against the Algerian Mohamed Flisi in blue. One round down now, Flisi. Well, the Algerian has the work to do here. This is the final. So it'll be 110% effort from both men. Southport, Jackie Apov, very composed. And Jackie Apov, happy to trade punches. He 
Casey throwing some big shots. Not on target. Fleecy, a double. National champion in Algeria. Came to these games off the back of a good win at the Mediterranean Games. Took gold there. Now we're seeing a heated exchange. Good connection from the Algerian. Well, the referee uh, stepping in again because of this cut. That's a real shame because Fleecy managed to catch Zakiapov with a cracking right hand there. And uh, we have one minute 32 of round number two still to go. Well, uh, all of the great and the good have poured into uh, this arena today. Indeed, uh, the president of Kazakhstan is going to be along soon to enjoy and watch. Now, Felici following this up quickly, he uh, smells an opportunity here. of Zakiapov really really commendable so relaxed and just trying to work off the counter forcing Fleecy in Fleecy just at the edge of range has to cover that distance before he can connect and Zakiapov making it easy now look easy just floating around the outskirts of the ring What is interesting is uh, the Algerian is 10 centimeters shorter, so he's uh, got a shorter reach, no doubt, as well. And, uh, you can see Zakiapov just keeping away, keeping his distance, keeping him at the perfect length at the moment. Well, Zakiapov starting to stalk now. Trying to close the ring off for Fleecy. Stepping it up a pace here. End of round two. They're back to their corners. We have just one round left. The blood coming out of Fleecy's eye. I thought he fought better in that round, though. Absolutely. But the pace raised by the Kazakh fighter. He starts to bring pressure to bear. Yeah, he's working on uh, that right eye as well. He sees that cut and it's going to make Fleecy a little bit nervous, but at the moment everything's okay. 20 to 18 across the board for Zakipov, the Kazakh fighter, and things are looking good for Kazakhstan's first gold medal of this World Championships. So we're back out for uh, round number three, the final round of this World Championships. Berjan Zakyapov in red for Kazakhstan, up against Mohamed Fisi of Algeria to decide this men's light flyweight World Championship bout. Well, right from the get-go, Zakyapov looked in control here. Fleecy lands some good shots. We see a good left-right combination. Makes good, solid contact. With Jackie Apov. Cool, unperturbed by anything that Fleecy has to offer. Good, solid work from Fleecy throughout this bout. But Jackie Apov just display superb skills and at uh, championship level that's what you'd expect especially from a Kazakh fighter well, the Kazakh 
contact now starting to land even heavier shots. Fleecy having to back up. Some exceptional speed here. And Zakipov really enjoying himself now. Under a minute and a half to go. And uh, unless something special happens here, he's got this one in the bag. He's just putting on a little demonstration now for the fans. That eye of Fleecy starting to open up a bit more. That'll be troubling him. Very difficult for a boxer to continue with the worry of an injury. Referee falls over to look at the doctor. Yeah, the doctor's called in. The Algerian coaches are up on their feet, screaming, one minute left, one minute. They're uh, shouting to Fleecy, you must go for it. Erring him on. So can Fleecy pull a rabbit out of the hat here? He's certainly going for it. Come on, says Zakipov. Well, the pace has been raised by Zakipov. Much more aggressive during the end of the rounds. The Algerian, no slouch. Zakipov working well. Great range of shots from Zakipov. Happy to go for the body as well. Well, I don't think anything meaningful will be achieved as the clock winds down. And it looks very much as if Zakipov will be the first to take a medal at these games. And he's dancing round now. Two seconds left. Trips the fleecy again at the end, and that's it. We have our first world champion at this uh, Almaty Kazakhstan 17th edition World Championships. And it is a Kazakh boxer to the delight of this enormous crowd. So right up until the wire, the Algerian fleecy trying to work a margin. But Jackie Apov calls him on and keeps scoring right up until the end of the round. Now the Algerians pumping his fist towards his coaches. I think he's very happy with the silver medal for both of these men. Their first time in a major championship final. Jackie Pops had world bronze, gold bronze and world bronze. Now he's got world championship gold to his name as well. One judge saw it the way of the Algerian. And the David Rodriguez, the first ever Costa Rican bronze medalist, first ever medalist of any variety at the World Championships. Brilliant job. He looked disappointed yesterday not to get through to the final. He uh, receives his medal from Dr. Ching Kyu Wu, the IEBA president an IOC executive board member. Receiving his flowers from uh, Galib Jafarov, the world champion in 2003. The other bronze medalist uh, is uh, Vyatia Soto of Cuba. Well, it was Fleecy who beat Rodriguez in the semi-finals. He lost today, but he is the silver medalist a tremendous achievement, and he smiled at the end of his bout, full of pride. Because he lost to a worthy champion. Listen to the cheers as the new world champion is crowned here in Almaty, Kazakhstan. The light flyweight world champion, Bershan Zakyapov. It'll be an emotional time for him as they play the Kazakhstan national anthem. In